Happy New Year, or as we say in the Dominican Republic, Feliz Año Nuevo. Thank you everybody for watching Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget. Gracias por ver las damas de Ebonias en el de Rey. Yo soy True, Afechiona, Bridget. Coming soon, it's gonna be a whole show in Spanish. So all my subscribers that are Spanish speakers, I know you guys are gonna be so happy. And my English speakers, you're gonna have to put on the translator, put the subtitles on. I'm doing my best to learn Spanish. That's my goal for 2021. I hope everybody has made some goals, make this a wonderful year. 2020 is long gone. So let's celebrate, let's enjoy 2021. All right, today's topic is, buying a car in the Dominican Republic. So if you watch the show, you know that we have been here without a car, right? Um, in uh, just a few days, I think about eight days, January 13th, we will be in the Dominican Republic for two years. So you think, how do you survive without a car? It was easy, no problem. They have public transportation, we have bikes, we have a golf cart, so it wasn't a big issue. But guess what we did? We bought a car. I'm gonna show the car in a little bit. But let's talk about buying a car in the Dominican Republic. I can't give you any information on financing because I pay cash. I'm trying not to have bills, everybody. And you're here on the island, so a brand new car um, is what I would have preferred. But then I started to think about it. I see all of these beautiful, luxurious cars here in my city in Punta Cana. Mercedes, Maserati, Porsche, Range Rover, you name it, they're all here. Uh, probably one out of three have a scratch, a dent, a crashed headlight. So I was like, why am I gonna spend the money? Get a used car, then my feelings won't be hurt when somebody hits me. Cause we almost already, we got a car. We almost already lost the windshield, right? The, not the windshield, the side mirror by some moto drivers who were just going by. And if they would have hit it, it just would have fell off. I wouldn't have been able to catch them. So we started thinking, why spend the money on a, used, on a new car? So everybody has their preference, but I didn't want to spend that much cash. Um, and so don't ask me questions about financing because I don't know. Um, I have a few people that have bought, you, that have bought new cars. Um, but I don't think they finance. I think they all pay cash. But financing is available to Americans because when we did our quick little search, ours wasn't a long search. It was something that happened spontaneously. Um, so um, we didn't get to do a lot of checking around. One thing we did check is here in Punta Cana, we couldn't afford a used car in Punta Cana. The cars are so expensive here. And we checked a few places um, online and you know, we called, they are not about haggling on the price. It is not like the US. They don't have a thousand dollar cushion and five hundred dollar cushion. Pretty much if that's the price, you know, unless you find someone. We were able to get ours down just a little bit below the sticker price of the used car. But one thing you want to know is um, most of the cars, they're called, they have a seaboard label. Ours did not. Um, ours was shipped in. They take, took the seaboard label off. But what the seaboard label is, it means it was transported by a uh, boat over to the Dominican Republic. What you can do is take your phone, scan the VIN number for the Carfax, and you'll get the report to see if this is a, a horrible car, if this is a flood car, if this is a salvage car in the U.S. So you want to do your own due diligence you know they're gonna tell you yeah it's a good car they're gonna tell you everything so I'm gonna tell you about one of our experiences so we were in Santo Domingo doing some other things uh, decided to look at a car the car said excellent condition oh right up my alley you know I'm all about excellent condition the price was good we could pay cash drive it home today we took a taxi to go to Santo Domingo West um, which is for them considered far. It was 15 miles. Houston, that's on the, down the street. That's nothing, right? So we went to go see this car. The car did not have a horn. Really, in Punta Cana? Really, in the Dominican Republic, no horn? Absolutely not, deal breaker. But then we went on to check. The car had no lights, no horn, and you couldn't check the oil. 
the dipstick literally was broken off into the thing it took like three four men with all different kinds of pliers all different and still while this is going on no horn no light they're trying to get the dipstick out the car had a little bit of a, a dent in it which wasn't a big deal the guy still would not budge on the price so needless to say we did not buy that car we took our cash and went somewhere else so you got to be smart just like in the u.s it's not it's nothing different um so we did end up by, end up buying a car we got our car in Pe san pedro de macordas highly recommend that city for buying a car or Igwe. Igwe is only one hour away from Punta Cana and uh, san pedro de macordas is um, on the freeway, about an hour, 10 minutes. Not far at all, so if you're in Punta Cana, rent a car, go car shopping, take somebody with you, go get a car, or you can take the bus. My favorite thing, from San, from here, going to San Pedro de Macortes, you have to go to Igwe. Igwe first is, I think, 150 pesos, which is about $3, and then you take another bus over to San Pedro de Macortes, which is like another, I think, 100 pesos or 200 pesos. It's really, really cheap. Um, the buses are clean. The buses are huge. You don't have to worry about social distancing. Everybody had on their mask. So that was the option that we chose. We were on the bus. So, went to the car lot, we found a car. Let me tell you where we found the car. Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace in Punta Cana in Dominican Republic is a lifesaver. Um, they advertise everything. And what I have realized is their response time is like this because they're all about moving their products sell and selling things. So the response time was great. Um, I'm gonna show you the car that we bought. We bought it in San Pedro de Macortes. So let's see our new car. This is a Ford Focus hatchback. It's um, uh, 2014. It, ha it has like 76,000 miles on it. And some people would think, wow, you bought a car with that many miles. But it's supposed to go, a Ford goes up to 200, 250,000 miles. So I am still um, using the Guagua, which is public transportation on the bus, just for exercise and because gas is really expensive here. So gas, we're at what, $4, right at $5 a gallon. So that's expensive. Ford is pretty good on gas. The island is small, so we don't go a whole lot of places. Um, we've done a couple of road trips like to San Pedro de Macortes and to Igwe, um, just a few little things, and the gas was really good. But when we get ready to do other trips around the island, because I know that's what you guys are waiting for this year, we are going to rent a car like we always did. So why did we buy a car if there's public transportation, if things like that? Well, the last couple of times, you know my favorite spot, Alamo, they've been busy they didn't have any cars and so i'm kind of you know easily frustrated in that area because when i want a car i'm a little bit spoiled i want a car today so there are more tourists coming here so COVID 19 is still out there but people are still traveling to the dr people still want the sunshine it is what january 5th i'm in shorts no sleeves it's warm outside it's a beautiful day so the tourists are coming so there were no cars. So we said, okay, we gotta get a car. It was already our plan at our two year mark anyway, cause my mom is coming, my dad's coming. And you know, I don't wanna have to always get a rental car. I wanna have a car and be able to take them around and do things. So that's why we bought a car. And we paid cash for the car. The deal is the same as in the US. You can try to haggle. We got it down maybe a hundred something dollars US. That's it. That was all he was budgeting. Um, but you pay your cash. You do. They do the title. Um, we have to go to San Pedro de Macorís because, of course, you know, in the Punta Cana and Dominican Republic, we don't have mailboxes. So we actually have to go pick up our title. But we got our registration, and it's just a little sticker right on the car. Uh, registration twenty five dollars for the whole year awesome it doesn't matter what kind of car you have it's not like the u.s if you drive a range rover is this price if you drive a jeep is this nope a car is a car on the road so your um, sticker is only 25 dollars you have to go to a bank and get your sticker which is really funny um you just take your sales paper your bill of sale um proof of insurance which they sell you the insurance at the lot get this guess how much insurance was for a whole year 
You guessed it. No, you didn't. $36 for the whole year. We thought it was $41, but then we got home, we saw a receipt. It was actually $36 for the whole year. All right, you say, that doesn't cover anything. You're right. It actually covers if you get another car. It doesn't, it's like basic liability in the U.S., which is great because that's all you need on a car that's old because if it get wrecked or totaled out, the blue book price is going to be l low more than what you're going to be spending if you get full coverage insurance so do the math right do your math you can't beat 36 dollars a month for insurance for a whole year right it's, it's amazing okay but this is our car it's a ford focus hatchback and i love it and i feel like my mom because i she has a hatchback mercedes station wagon and she's able to put groceries and other little things that she find when you're out shopping so the hatchback makes me feel like i kind of have a truck you know, or, uh, so I love it. So we'll show you the car. I'm gonna move around. Devin's gonna move. I'm gonna move around. It's dirty today, um, but let me tell you, in Punta Cana, you can get a full service detail for 300 pesos. It does not include the wax. Oh my God, the wax is like another 200 pesos. So if you get your car fully detailed, and that includes the inside, full service detail with the wax, you're gonna spend, what, 500, 600 pesos that's like 11 dollars full service detail wheels inside interior everything so you got a little punta cana so i think it's a beautiful day we're not expecting any heavy downpours today so we might take the car and go get it detailed but we'll show you the car i'm really i'm really happy with it it had one little dent here and i think that was it so you can see it's a hatchback it's kind of big it's roomy and the, tent, the windows are so dark. No one can see you in the tent, which is crazy. But even on the front windshield, which is illegal in the United States to have tent on the front windshield. So it kind of threw me off. My first time driving it at night, I really could not see. I had to cut the lights on bright, okay? So enough about that. But anyway, so this is our car. It'll be two years uh, in eight days, January 13th. So yay, we love Punta Cana. Um, but you can survive here without a car. Um, but if you do decide to buy a car, take your phone, scan that VIN number, make sure it's a good car, make sure it's what you want. Um, and then the options are here if you want to buy a brand new car and financing is available to to americans so as usual don't forget nothing has changed for 2021 i'm going to be right here every thursday on youtube 9 p.m eastern standard time like subscribe and share my little subscribers are building up i'm so happy but what i like most is that you all are watching the whole episode and thank you for all the great comments this year is going to be a wonderful year i have a, like a lot of new things coming and i love the suggestions for all the new shows i'm taking all those into consideration because what i got a car so i can do a whole bunch of, uh, a whole lot of other things that i wasn't able to do so i'm going to bring you a lot of fun things this season thank you all for watching please share the episodes and again if you have any questions i'm here i answer questions fast all right, so everybody, happy new year to you. Feliz Año Nuevo. Make this year an amazing year. Until next week. Mwah.